evaluate a times b times c from this system of equations. Oh, symmetric, isn't it? So now what shall we do? Maybe I'm going to say, we can solve for the values of a, b, and c, then multiply them times each other. However, that's not a good idea. Why? Because this system of equations is very complicated. Now, I'd like to regard a times b times c as a whole thing. Then, maybe we will acquire an equation about it. So, let's do it. But how? If we want to get a times b times c, then we should multiply these three equations times each other. So now, what shall we do? Of course, multiply, product. We get a plus 1 over b, then times b plus 1 over c, then times c plus 1 over a is equal to 2 times 3 times 4 is 24. Now we can expand the whole left hand side. We're going to get a times b times c first plus here a times 1 over c times c we have a a times b times 1 over a we have b and then we have c and then plus 1 over b times b then times 1 over a we have 1 over a the same way 1 over b times 1 over c, then times c, we have 1 over b. Then we have 1 over c as well. At last, we have 1 over b times 1 over c, then times 1 over a. 1 over a, b, c. 24. We can check if we have all of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. 8 sections. And our left hand side, here, two, here, two, here, two. We have to choose one of them in each factor. So we have two times two times two to the power of three. In total, eight possibilities. Then these eight possibilities are these eight. A, B, C, A, B, C appears two times. However, we also get A plus B plus C plus 1 over A plus 1 over B plus 1 over C. Don't worry. Now, I'd like to sum these three equations. And you can get A plus 1 over B plus B plus 1 over C plus C plus 1 over A is 2 plus 3 plus 4. That's what? That's 9. So here is a plus b plus c plus 1 over a plus 1 over b plus 1 over c. Now you can see this is here. So now we can replace this with 9. ABC plus 1 over ABC is just 24 minus 9. What? 15. If we let ABC be equal to T, then the equation will be an equation about T. It's just T plus 1 over T equals 15 times t on the both sides, t squared minus 15t plus 1 equals 0. t1 and 2 are 15 plus or minus square root of 2 to 1 over 2. Do you get it? Subscribe to me for more interesting questions. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.